Morning Heroes, it's your boy William Bethag here again with another street report from the multiverse. Uh, today we're going to hit up Marauders number six. Okay, how do I explain this beautiful title in one word? One word. Okay, this is why we got leaders like Storm, Bishop, Cyclops. You know what I'm saying? This is why we got the, 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 the true leaders. This is why Kitty should not have been in charge. Because, of course, she didn't see the threat behind the wheel. Okay, Storm would have been like, look, whoo, what you doing, brother? Hit him with some moves. Nah. Kitty got caught up by the man. And we all we all knew he was a sleeping giant. Okay, we all knew he was a sleeping giant. This the Hellfire Club. Sebastian Shaw been running the thing forever. We knew he was a powerful mutant. We knew he was mad. We knew if he got somebody by himself, he was going to be it. That's why you got to have strong, calculating leaders there. He got the dragon and her. Come on, man. Come, come on. Come on, yo. Yo, I'm going to say the setup to the big reveal was great. Uh, They was doing work, execution. They was fighting strong human villains. Got it. May have been pumped up with some stuff, but yo, they was fighting. And I'm telling you, I right, the writing, I love the right, but... Do we have to have, like, mutant slurs, the whole thing? I don't understand that. I mean, I, I don't like you. I ain't fighting you. I ain't need to throw the slurs out. Slurs ain't necessary. They're not. I, I already know that I don't like you. I don't need slur. Okay. The, the, the more they talk, the more it felt like they were just really uneducated and, to tell you the truth, deserve to get their butt with because they sound like they could fight. When you knew they could fight. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I like about comics. Those cats that you really know get down, they always seem a little bit more, uh, you know, smarter than the average Joe. More calculating in their word association. This comic wasn't happening. No. So, I just want to put it to bed that, look, this experiment with Kitty Pride being the balls, hey. Nice snow, but uh, my boy got her. My boy got her. And he got her because she young. That's how he got her. He got her because she was not any naive. And then, Storm really could have did a lot more work than she did. But that just lets you know that she wasn't trying to show up Kate, which I don't understand that. And Bishop, you know he the man. So, um, we're going to see how this flow. Because at the end of this, I, I, it had me thinking, look, we're going to have to resurrect her if we can. Because we don't know if we can. Hey, Koa already don't like Kate. Yo, can they resurrect the little dragon? Is the dragon dead? Lock it. I mean, whew, man. I, hey, look, this one got me, yo. I was blown. But... Great story, another good twist, good writing, beautiful artwork. Yo, love the lettering. It, hey, look, <laughs> hey, it was great. The villain, the villain breakup was was awesome. So, look, I'm telling you, gotta get this, yo. Gotta get this title. I'm all in. Yo, the, the, none of these titles has failed me. This direction is marvelous, okay? So, keep up with them. Whew. Can't wait for the next one. Hey, look, you know what I you know what I need you to do? Support your local comic book shops. Hit up the comments. Let me know what's up. How you felt about this book? Look, I'm telling you. Oh my God! Just, just, hey, just, just tell me what you think is coming down the pike for this here title. All right. Once again, don't forget to support your local comic book shops, and y'all be safe. All right. Alright, it's your boy Bethea. Peace.